would be just her family against mine. <laughs> Dave's got his money out. So uh, we have a great show lined up for today. A lot of uh, interesting topics to cover. The first topic you may be wondering about is why are the Wahoo Willies guys here at License to Chill on a Saturday morning? Well, they have huge news to announce, and I am going to allow Peter to be the first person to tell everybody that they are taking over the SOB. Well, you didn't let him do it. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, Go ahead. letting me share the news. I appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks. I couldn't I couldn't hold on to this secret much longer. That's so. okay. I appreciate you uh, waiting. <laughs> Thank you for coming on the show. You're Big welcome. hand for our You're guests, welcome. everybody. Yeah. And uh, I have to say, your wife did a great job with your hair. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. And yours. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. So, yes, we're, we are. We're really excited. Uh, Nick and I and our partners, uh, we, we talked to Reed um, and Reed, obviously, with Bill, his dad. We really want let everybody know that okay. might not know who Reed is. Right. Reed, uh, Reed and his dad owned and operated the SOB for many, many years. Uh, Nick, you know when it started? I do not know exactly. I, I know when I first uh, saw Reed, he was in his mother's stomach. So yeah, wow. you saw Reed in his mother's stomach. Wow, what were you doing it. that close to uh, <laughs> Reed's mom? Uh, it's very weird. Yeah. Oh, she worked for you. Okay. Wow. You guys go back. So, yeah, Nick goes back with those guys yeah. a long time. So uh, yeah. we, we reached out to Reed a few times and said, hey, Reed, why don't you come back? You know, Nick and I will do whatever we can as good neighbors to get you going. You know, Bill had sold and moved on. And Reed just uh, said, hey, I'm so happy out here. He just won Best Burger of uh, Lee County at Street Eats and Ale. Where's so, that? Where's Street Eats and Ale? It's, uh, uh, his place is in the center of Pine Island. Pine Island. Okay. So he's doing really well out there. He's uh, bought the property. So uh, he just said he just... He had enough. Keep, yeah, had enough. Wants to keep doing what he's doing. So, yeah. um, uh, Hank Leitnicker, uh, we met probably what six week, six months ago or so, and um, his father passed away and told him, "Hey, if you want to get back in the restaurant business after leaving the farm in Ohio, he was on, you know, either find a find a good franchise to to get part of and grow with them, or find someone that's involved in a great area that you want to be in the restaurant business and and latch on with them." So Frank's. Uh, father-in-law uh introduced him to nick and, and so he's a partner in the, in the he's restaurant a, he'll be like billy is a wahoo he's, he's, a, he's a, a full partner i see he's gonna be the owner operator and if you know fort myers beach and you know nick rule and the fishmonger yeah. and snug harbor no one is more restaurant in fort myers beach than nick so. have you ever seen nick riding around in his pickup truck it's not a <laughs> 19 it's not a 2024 white ford f-150 it's a 1978 ford it's got so much character Dodge. it does and Dodge. All, and all you, all you hear coming out of that car is the Sanford and Son theme. It's not That's true. what you hear coming out of the. It's not true. <laughs> Why spend the money if you don't need to, right, Nick? Okay, thank you, Nick, for coming on. This is, but Nick, this is the way Nick is every yes. time he comes on the show. Nick is Sorry a about man of yeah. few yeah. words. Yes. No, actually, it's got the best. My best employee is that truck because it has a lift gate. Yes. Yeah. So, Nick, uh, didn't you have enough going on? You got uh, you got Wahoo Willies. You got Snug Harbor. You got. You got what else? Yeah, the commercial fish. For commercial us. fish, yeah. So I'm blaming all this on Peter. All right, Peter. <laughs> so Peter, obviously, the big question is when are you going to open? I mean, when is the restaurant? When is SOB going to be open? That's what people care about. Is that a Scott question? And so who is? Okay, tell yep. us about the little guy behind okay. us. <laughs> Scott's taller than all, so we put him yep. in a small chair. Scott uh, was actually hired by the owners of the property. Okay, we'll so be- let me give everybody a little background. Uh, ben Freeland from. Uh, Moss Marina owns the building. He owns the property, bought the property six months ago ish and the SOB property and the property across the street that used to be a parking lot and a, a little a retail t-shirt area. shop. Right. Mm-hmm. And so uh, so Ben always wanted to keep the SOB name alive and you guys are going to uh, keep it SOB, right? We are. Thanks for not asking the question I asked you to ask. But uh, uh, what was the question you th- asked me to ask? That question. Nobody nobody is allowed <laughs> to tell me what questions to ask. <laughs> so so as we've it's talked breaking to, the rules. As, as we've talked to some business owners and uh, architects, uh, Scott himself, hey, what are you going to do with the SOB? What's going to happen? What are you going to change? We Nick and I both said as little as possible. Nice. We, we, we want it to be as old school as Florida uh, fish house look as, as it was. Right. Before Ian, and they had a great brand. Oh, yeah. Yeah. and they had yeah. a great, great brand following. And uh, and the uh, so Scott, so Scott. and FMB Builders <laughs> yep. was hired on by Freelands yep. as a GC. So We're, we were under contract with Bill, uh, and he was going to rebuild. And then uh, Moss Marina went Bill to Freeland. them, bought the property, and now we're under contract with them. And once we get to, you know, the permit issued, our plans are four months. 
So and I'm going to write down November 1st as your opening ribbon cutting date. Is that right? November 1st? Ish. That, that's ish. I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what the you goal can write is, it right? Down. The goal is or November before. 1st. And you're going to have a big ribbon so cutting and the whole can thing. I Go right ahead, dear. It's your show. So how much? Thank you. For, thank you <laughs> wow. Thank you. How much work needs to be done? Because the, you know, it's been covered. So yeah. You, so yeah. basically, the outside is going to stay the same. The inside, uh, we're revamping a little bit, but we're going to try to keep everything as how it was. Okay. Just redo the kitchen is one of the biggest things because it was an old kitchen. Yeah. And uh, as far right. as everything else, we're going to try to keep everything. What about the bathrooms? I, I like privacy in the bathrooms. You think there'll be privacy in the bathrooms? I don't like going in front of other people. Is that can you put a wall up at least? Yeah, yeah. we're going to we got we're going to work on that. Oh, good. Good. Absolutely. No, you want to have people care about clean bathrooms, right? Especially when you Definitely. get to be our age. They want to. And soft toilet paper. Soft toilet paper is really Charmin. Yeah, Charmin. I mean, oh, gosh, golden. You guys Charmin is Charmin. golden. I'm Nick, getting you Scott tissue. Nick, That's do you Charmin? Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so how was how was season at Wahoo Willys in Snug Harbor? I mean, it was crazy on this beach. A very nice season. Uh, the weather could have been better at certain parts, but yeah, once it was better. Yeah. Fantastic. So uh, the, what about the employees? You're going to try and bring back some of the employees that work there or are they kind of it's been a while. They dispersed into other areas or what? You go around uh, almost every restaurant that's open. Yeah. And you will see many of them. Yeah. Just what passed a, one of them. Do you have an idea or is it too far ahead for like menus and that kind of stuff? Um, actually, uh, we're going to do our do our best to, uh, you know, keep the menu we had. Nick and I always tend to maybe go a little smaller because we want to make sure and whatever we do, do it good. Do it right. Yeah. And uh, the, the partner, uh, Hank, that we're bringing in, uh, he has a couple years of. Uh, Experience with the Ritz Carlton while he was going oh, to chef school in Arizona. Guys. Yeah, hanging and, out with the hoity toities. And, and, but he's a real blue collar guy. He went yeah. up, turned a little bar in Tampa into a, a full restaurant from Sweet. a bar. Yeah. So he's got some great experience, and, and he wants to do things right. Yeah. So and I took him out. I took him out to Street Eats and Ale to have lunch one day and and meet Reed. And so he kind of understands the concept. So yeah, uh, like Reed, he you know went to went to his culinary school and uh, you know is is really excited. Him and his wife been coming to Fort Myers Beach for yeah. years and. Uh, and they're really looking forward to the opportunity down here. <laughs> Jeff Olson. Thank you, Jeff. No single ply toilet paper. So just, you know, you <clears throat> talking like Reed, like Reed. Thank you, Jeff. Is he going to also participate in the chili contest? Because Reed has quite a history on yeah. this island yeah. winning the chili contest. Are you guys going to swoop in now and do that? Absolutely. Nice. <laughs> Look at you guys. Oh, he threw down the gauntlet. So don't, what? Don't they get a green jacket? They have a green jacket. Oh. It, never, it never fit Reed because he was he was a little bigger. And I love green chili. Yeah. <laughs> so, is there anything that you want people to know about your company? Um, no, we're just a local company here. Yeah. And uh, we we do new construction houses at the beach and commercial. So we're just excited uh, to get this going. You think awesome. four months, huh? When are you going to take the From curtains permit down? So, when From, are you going to okay. take the curtains can down I, so that people can see what's going on on the inside? Those black curtains done? have been up forever. Oh, oh really? Take them down. We got to work on getting them working again to I open see. them. I see. All right. All right. Uh, are you having any trouble? Like, are materials available? Because that's. Yeah. Okay, materials so are all good. All the electrical, out. we're going to start soon. But yeah, are, as far are you as having, all the materials yeah. are readily accessible. Are you having any okay. trouble with permitting? Because we're going to have the mayor on tomorrow. And we'll give him a bunch of shit if you're, get, if no, you're having trouble with permitting. No, permitting's been good. good it's just good, uh, yeah. actually if you fill yeah. out everything correctly. And yes, they've been working with us. Right. A lot yeah. of people don't know how to fill all the permits out correctly right. and do everything correctly. So, all right. you know, they're willing but to work with us. But your company has got it down pat, right? Yeah. We already got one permit issued for that. Oh, so. good. All right, everybody. Big hand for the new, uh, I'm not going to say owners. I mean, what do you call it? You call it the runners, the new runners of the SOB. And look, he's got the uh, yeah, sticker on. Sticker you, on. You, you bring those to sell to people? Or are you going to ha hand them out? All right. <laughs> yes, well, we'll be at Wahoo Willys tomorrow for Sunday brunch with the mayor. Thank you again Thank to you Peter so and Nick and FMB. Yeah. Builders, Scott. Thank you, Scott. Yes, it wasn't Scott, too painful, so was it? Yeah. All right. No, and uh, thank you for sitting in the little chair today. So. I know. Man, you should have sat back that, there. That's very exciting to have SOB back on the block. Yeah, and that's again, a staple. I said this a thousand times. That part of Fort Myers Beach with Wahoo Willys and Snug Harbor and Nervous Nellies and the Bayside Park, it's the new place to hang out. And Monday, we'll find out at the town council meeting whether or not there's going to be something even bigger oh, yeah. there because the Moss Marina... 
map amendment change. They're not voting on the project, but the map amendment change is on the agenda on uh, Monday. So Monday's town council meeting, which we'll carry live, is going to be a massive marathon session. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a big election year. There are three town council members that are up.